Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video we are going to be cash stuffing my sinking funds and cash envelopes. Um, and this is kind of the second part of this week's budget. So if you want to see how I choose what denominations to use and how much each envelope is getting stuffed with, then go check out my last video. I will link it in the cards button. Also, I have a lot of cuts and some marker on my hands. It's from work. Um, yeah, I just, it's from work. <laughs> and um, also, it's why my nails are kind of rough right now. Um, unfortunately, I work in production, so I can't really do my nails. It makes me so sad. I love, love, love of having good, like, manicured nails, but um, alas, here we are. <laughs> so today, we are stuffing my paycheck from April 23rd. So with my paycheck and my side hustle money, I got paid $893 this week, um, and I get paid bi-weekly, so I didn't get paid last week. And of the $893, we are cash stuffing $520. Um, the rest of that is for my online bills, my rent, um, utilities, and Wi-Fi. So without further ado, let's get on into the cash stuffing. So I am actually going to divide this um, on screen here for you guys. If you want to skip that, I will have um, like links for each part of the video. Also, this is like my DIY <laughs> cash tray. It's just like a jewelry box that I put some pretty paper in. The paper is not actually glued in yet. I do plan on gluing it in, but not quite yet. Um, so let's just make sure that I have the de denominations that I need. So I should have five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And I should have 13 fives for a total of $65. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Tens, we should have eight. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars. Twenties, we should have six, two, Six for a total of $120. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20. Okay, we should have three fifties for a total of 150. That is accurate. And one single $100 bill. Also, in my last video, I was showing you guys how I was a little bit hesitant or just unsure about using my wallet versus my regular cash envelopes, like these ones. Um, I decided that I would do some of them for my wallet. Oh, actually, before we get into the cash, there, we're going to do something else. But yeah, for my wallet ones, right now I have my gas and my food. And in my coin purse, I have... A gift certificate <laughs> and a spending envelope and then the thing that we forgot to do was my coins this isn't all of my coins either I did have to um, take some out because it was getting to be a lot I was at some places where I was doing like self checkout and instead of giving me any quarters back they would give me just dimes and nickels and it was quite frustrating A pretty decent amount so that's going to go in a jar I do have to figure out where I'm gonna put like my coins and stuff because I want to have a cash jar for real um, yeah so right now I'm using these in my envelope and I decided to put my gifts into a larger envelope and my beauty into a larger envelope and essentially when I go to use it what I'll do is take whatever I need and pop it into this little guy and then take it with me so that way I get to still use the pretty envelopes so my spending envelope is unfortunately not getting stuffed but it does have some cash in there still I'm just gonna roll it over and gas still has some things in it so we have this five is for gas buddy so that stays in here and then this is a rollover and this just goes into my car maintenance so we will stuff that later and so gas is going to be getting $20 and that's getting a 10 and two fives and for this I just fold it into thirds 
And how I do gas with my gas buddy account is essentially I use my card to pay and then I take whatever, like the, I round up or down to the closest denomination and put that money into the bank account that the money gets pulled out from gas buddy. That way I can still get the savings from gas buddy but um, use cash envelopes. And then in addition to my regular gas money, I also put my gas buddy payment in there. And I almost always have rollover for gas, but this time I'm actually not sure if I will. So yeah, that's what we got here. And food, I don't think has any rollover. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's getting $60, and that's just going to be a 5 and a 10. Alright, so that is the envelope for my wallet. We got food, gas, and spending is a little bit small to go in this front envelope, but I'm going to do it anyways because it's annoying pulling it out of here. Alright, so that is the wallet, and we are all done with that. Now I'm going to take these two. So gift also isn't getting anything. It does have some money in there already, um, but we won't worry about that. And then beauty is going to get $5. We have... $25, $30 in beauty. Alright, so there's that. Now let's go on into the our purple binder first. And I'm trying to be faster with these videos. I know my last ones were kind of slow. Okay, so money to my dad is essentially just my insurance, like my car insurance current, and my phone bill. So and for this video, last video, I filled out the paper. The paper is now off the camera, and we're just going to go with the sheets. So today is the 23rd of April, and we're adding in $97 today. And that's going to be in the denominations of a 50, two 20s, a 5, and 2 1s. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven. Now, time to count. Five, one hundred, two, four, six, eight, eighty-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety, one, two, three, four, five. A hundred and ninety-five dollars to my dad. Okay, so this is my credit accounts, and I have them into two separate envelopes inside here. So my PNC envelope is getting $10 with the denomination of 10. I have some cash in here and some cash um, in the bank. Today we are adding 10. So we should have $108. Which means what I need left should be a hundred and forty-one dollars. Okay. And whenever a payment goes through with these accounts, because they are credit accounts, like I'm making payments, I just check it off for the month. Okay, and my TD payment is getting two dollars. And a payment did just go through, actually. So on the 21st, a payment of $21 went through. So we have 116 minus 21. So I have $95 left in this. Because remember, I have money in the bank as well. And then today, for 23, we are stuffing it with $2 for a total of 97 and what I need left is 27. And if you guys want to stay tuned, next week I have a pretty big, like, changing my finances video. I'm essentially just going to go through and really clean up a lot of things that are kind of just floating around in my finances that I don't like. Um, I, like I said in my last video, I spent way more this week than I really wanted to, or like the past weeks, and so I have to clean up my finances a little bit because they got a little bit out of control, um, 
and yeah there's just gonna be like a lot of moving things around so I'm making a whole video for it and so then travel is going to be getting $30 in a 20 and a 10 this one I'm excited for <laughs> I don't know why I grabbed the bills like that. Okay, so what we have left in here today is four twenty-three, and we are adding thirty dollars. So we have five, or we'll count like this: one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, three hundred and twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, three hundred and sixty-five. Awesome. And I'm going to, I have one more paycheck where I can stuff this heavily before I actually have to use it. So I'm excited for that. Okay, and then this second envelope in here is my 21 envelope, which is actually going to be used up next weekend. So I'm really excited about that. But I am stuffing this heavily because, like I said, it's being used next weekend. So we are stuffing it with five. 10, nope, 5, 20, and 5. And this gets me to the total that I wanted, which should be, we will announce in a second, a total of one, 5, 100, 120, 130, 40, 145, 150. So I wanted to have 150 for my trip in cash. It's actually 423. We are adding 75. Um, but in addition to cash, I have a couple gift cards. I actually was drawn for a raffle at work this week this month, and I have a $50 gift card, and I can use that to buy alcohol. So I'm really excited about that um, because some of this 21 money was also going to buying the house like a bottle or some beer or something like that. So yeah, I'm really excited about that too. So I have 150 for the trip and then I have an additional like 75 in gift certificates or gift cards. Next is home, which is getting a whopping $1. And I still haven't changed my address. I know that's really bad. Um, yeah, I gotta do that. Home has 10, 20, and 1. Sorry, I don't really want to pull it out. Not 10, 20. It's 20, 30, and 31. Okay, medical is getting $10. I've been tapping into medical quite a lot recently. So we have... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So next paycheck, I'm hoping to be able to put some extra money in here because I want to actually have, oops, plus 10. I want to actually have like a savings with this one. Like I don't want it to just be used up immediately. I want to gradually add in more and more and more until I have like a pretty high number just in case of an emergency. Because I do have to dip into this at least once a month for my medication. But it would be nice to have some cushion in addition to that. This is my best friend's envelope. And they are getting $15 this paycheck. This is one of the envelopes that needs to be moved around. So I bought them something online. So I need to um, like change out the bills and then put that money back into my credit card. So we're adding $15 today. That gives us $50, $65. Okay, and unfortunately, move is not getting stuck today. And that is all that we have in this envelope. All of these are my moving envelopes. <clears throat> That's all that we have for this binder, sorry, not envelope. I keep saying that. Um, on to the yellow one. So this is like my sinking funds and some other general savings. Emergency isn't getting stuffed today. There's 125 in there. My car is getting stuffed with that $10 left over from gas. And I found a nail in my tire, so I am expecting to use this money soon. Okay. 
we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, um, 100, 110, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, my pet, future pet, is not getting stuffed. Insurance is not getting stuffed. Michelle, not getting stuffed. <laughs> Tech, not getting stuffed. Um, this is the surprise. So this is going to be getting $15. Um, in August, I'm taking my friend to a surprise show. So when I announce it to them, I'll announce it onto here. Um, but yeah, I'm just saving up for it. So we have 10, 20, um, 25, 30. I don't have a tracking sheet for this yet either, so... $30 in there. Um, my fun isn't getting stuffed. Now these are annual ones and they are getting stuffed. So my anime account is actually my Funimation account. Um, and this is getting $5. I was stuffing it uh, with increments of three, which is technically how much I needed um, per paycheck to pay off it in a year. But I'm fine paying it off faster and then just having the money ready to go when that payment hits. So we're now going to start stuffing it with fives. And then if I'm ever really tight on money, I don't have to stress out about stuffing this one. So we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And I need $80 for this envelope. Okay, and then so here's something a little bit fun is my bills. So these were all of my annual bills that I thought I was going to be paying for, but I changed my mind and I am not renewing some of my annual payments. Come on, stop fighting with me. Let's go. <laughs> so my Fit Plan bill, um, we're totaling that. We don't need that anymore. My Google one is still getting stuffed and is getting stuffed with $5. There's a total of 10 in there right now. So we have that one. And then Headspace, I also decided not to renew this year. Um, so that's an additional $5 that we have to move around. I am going to change my Headspace envelope to my Amazon envelope. And I'm putting these $10 into my Amazon envelope. And we're going to take one of my Barbie papers and just kind of jot that in. 10 from Rollover. And then plus 5 from, actually, yeah, 50, plus 50 from my paycheck. Alright, cool. So I have $10 in there now from my other two accounts that I decided not to stuff any longer. And now we're going to also add in $50 in the form of two 20s and two 5s. Okay. Leaving me with a grand total of $60. And my Funimation account is also an um, annual account, but because I already put all this onto this envelope before I realized that I was going to put all of my annual ones into one envelope, um, I just left it because that's adorable and I love it. So that's all that we have for the envelopes here. Okay, so this 10 is going to my PNC account, and this is for my teeth or like my religious donation. Um, I don't call it a teeth, but that's what it's mostly known as. So, essentially just my religious donation. So, this is going to PNC. And then we are stuffing up my Chase envelope. So, this is essentially my credit card envelope. And, um, whatever money I need to go into that instead of a specific envelope, it goes into here. So, this $5 is for my Spotify. It fills my Chase account. And then the $100... Um, that I'm stuffing from my paycheck. Okay. So now that everything is all set, that is pretty much it. And I am going to go and contemplate how I'm supposed to move all of this money around without losing my mind, because money stresses me out, and which is why I do things like this, because this is the easiest way for me to manage my money without being stressed out. Um, yeah. 
thank you guys so much for coming to the video and watching. I really appreciate if you're still here to the end. Um, it means a lot. If you liked this video and want to see more videos that I make, um, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell if you want to receive notifications when I upload a video. And uh, yeah, with all that said, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.